Hi, I'm Nikki, the obsessive bookseller. Welcome to this episode of the A to Z challenge. It's a spinoff of my Read, Burn, Hoard challenge where I am systematically starting at the beginning of my collection alphabetically and reading everything I come across incrementally one chapter a day. It can feel like slow going while I'm working on it, but seeing as we're just at the beginning of March and I have a pretty significant gap at the beginning of my collection, like, you know, I'm really enjoying seeing the progress over time even though I'm really impatient in the moment. And I would like to talk about the Shattered Sea Trilogy for a minute here. So, this is what I've been focused on, and this week I finally finished Half a World, which is the book two in the series. And I, I did like the ending of this one. It, it went somewhere meaningful. I was more connected to the characters than I was in the first one. And yeah, I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. Then I picked up Half a War, and it was a little bit I'm trying to get reacclimated with a couple of new characters and kind of get back into the feel of the world. I'm, I know what the main conflict of the trilogy is, and I'm just not sure I'm super interested in it. So I picked this one up for a couple of days and then had a weird moment where I was thinking about books that I'm selling on Pango and I thought, you know, I don't think I'm going to keep the Shattered Sea trilogy when I finish reading it. I'm probably just going to sell them. And I was daydreaming for a minute about what kind of prices I want to list them at. And I'm like, wait a minute, like I'm going to sell this trilogy. I'm not enjoying it enough to actually keep it for my collection because it's just like a meh three star. Why am I committed to spending an entire month on the third one? Like this doesn't make any sense. I am trying to curate my collection to just the best titles. So I thought, okay, I don't like this enough to keep it. Why am I spending more time on it? So I decided to DNF this book. I set it down for a day or two and immediately was like, okay, yeah, I don't miss it. And it's not bad. It's just not my favorite. I have officially put this one down after reading Half a War for a couple of days. I made it like 10 to 15% into it and it was fine. It was just more of what we got in the first couple of books. But what that did for me was free up a little bit of time at the end of this week to start Bronze Gods by A.A. A. Aguirre. Now I finally figured out why it's not just listed as Anne Aguirre. It's because she co-wrote it with her husband Andre, which is actually kind of cool. They wrote a book together and didn't get divorced because of it. This is book one in the Apparatus Infernum's duology, and as it happens, my copy of the second book, Silver Mirror, came in from Book Depository, and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really hoping I like these, because like, this is a pretty like nice-looking set here, if you will. Two chapters into this, and I'm already in the mood to read it. I'm really enjoying it. It's a man and woman detective team who are solving crimes in this world with a lot of rich fantasy lore, but it's also kind of like a clockwork steampunk setting. I'm not far enough in it to really give you any details on whether or not it's going to work for me long term, but I really like what I've read so far. I like the basic character profiles. I'm only two chapters in, but yeah, already it's the kind of thing I really like to read. It seems like a slightly more robust urban fantasy with a fantasy twist, which is great. I love those kind of hodgepodge of genres. So I'm hoping that this one is going to be really successful for me. Um, I am back to reading one chapter a day. The chapters in that series were a bit short, so I read a couple. In this one, this is a physical read only, so I am reading one chapter a day, and it should take me about two weeks to get through it. That one was starting to feel like a chore. These ones so far are feeling like a joy. So yeah, very excited. So let's go look at the progress on the shelf. Having so much space just at the beginning of March bodes really well. Yep, basically gotten rid of everything that I've read up to this point, but really enjoying these so far. I was thinking about this series here, and I'm almost positive it's a middle grade series about King Arthur. And so the fact that I have it over here in my adult collection, when I get to that one, I may reevaluate, and I might just read the first book of the set because I believe it's like a three or five in one whatever and see if I like it at all and want to keep it um I am not big on Arthurian lore I I know too much about the, the entire story so any kind of retelling just kind of bores me a bit so I may just dabble in that to see if I want to continue with it and if I do I'll move it over to my YA section and then move on to this but that's a couple weeks out for sure really excited about my progress here Anyway, thank you for joining me this week, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye.